Hi, um, in this video I will be demonstrating how to um, configure your first DCRM uh, editable grid and uh, a quick overview of the uh, grid itself. So here I've uh, imported the, uh, uh, the managed solution um, into, the, uh, into the organization. So first thing we want to do, we want to go to the uh, um, customization. Here I'm using, I will be using a uh, system uh, entity to demonstrate uh, the functionality um, for that I'm just going to use case so I want to place the grid on a case entity here I select the uh, one column tab We don't want to show the label and then we insert a uh, web resource. Name of the web resource is dcrmeg underscore dcrmeg html. Now we go to the formatting area. Ensure that uh, you give the grid some room. 12, uh, 12 rows should be enough for uh, for one grid. Uh, keep the iframe uh, scrolling. You can keep it as, as necessary, just in case you run out of room and want to display the uh, uh, scroll bar. And we won't need any border. Now, once this is done, uh, we can go and find the uh, actual entity, the CRM uh, EG configuration here. One of the things I've done is that I have not included this entity into any of the CRM sections. So here you can choose um, one of the uh, default sections or if you have added any of your own. Uh, that is why I've decided not to include it in any of these sections, so it won't just show up anywhere. Uh, that decision would be uh, left with you. So here I'm just going to add, uh, I'm going to select settings, so it would be show up in the settings area. So this is done. Now we had to actually we need to refresh the browser so uh, the configuration will show up here. As you can see, I've already added a uh, custom view for this. You'll see the reason for that. Uh, so go ahead and create a uh, new configuration. As you can see, it's uh, it's uh, loading uh, the metadata information about the entities. So once that's done, we want to display a grid on a case. So we select the case where we want to display the grid and then we select the entity we want to display the records for it on the um, on the case entity so we select the counts now we are looking for a uh, one to many relationship between case and account if there was one you will see that this uh, related entity lookup field will fill up 
and the checkbox would be checked so that would be optional you can display um, <clears throat> only related records if that would be the case if there was a relationship between case and account uh, or you can just leave it and, and, and uncheck it and uh, do not uh, display all the records so here we uh, see all the fields fields on the form of the account entity that we can select from here we can filter uh, we can display custom fields suppose we have a bunch of custom fields to, to have that we have added to an entity or we can use uh, uh, filter by system fields or simply display all the fields now there's an exception to this um, I've also already mentioned in the um, uh, in the documentation that uh, certain fields are not being displayed here um, two of them would be a status and a status code uh, other than that uh, almost all fields are uh, being displayed so here we can uh, once you uh, uh, see the um, uh, fields of the account in the list you can actually mouse over and see the uh, metadata information about each one of these fields and you, you can start selecting them so let's select a variety of these uh, created limit description which is memo um, checkbox info number payment terms and website you can actually select any one of these once the selection is complete you'll see every time you select one of these fields a uh, <coughs> A header that appears here that corresponds to, to your selection now here um, uh, you can actually set this field as read-only to ensure that the end user cannot uh, edit this field uh, the width are calculated in uh, percentage of the columns that uh, would be produced um, you can leave it as zero which means auto calculation of the uh, uh, of the width of the uh, headers or you can simply add your own values here um, you can actually uh, enable or disable the uh, ability of the grid to display summary for the uh, numeric values numeric and uh, currency values this these two uh, settings can be changed from the grid itself and you will see uh, for the pager part uh, this is you can set the initial uh, number of uh, records to, sh to display on a, on, a, on a given page so once uh, once you're uh, satisfied with your selection suppose uh, now you want to rearrange these um, very easy you can just simply uh, drag and drop these things around to rearrange them simple as that and once you're happy with the um, let's bring this one here once you're happy with the arrangement uh, and the selection you simply save and close so now let's go to a uh, case record okay so as you can see now we have a uh, uh, grid here uh, account uh, that display accounts uh, records uh, you can see the total here there is a mini toolbar on the left and also the pager and the uh, search um, edit box here uh, now the grid uh, offers um, functionality such as sorting that you can sort by name or by numbers uh, resizing also as you can see this field has already been uh, marked as uh, uh, non-editable so if I try to edit this uh, nothing will happen <coughs> um, there are various editors to activate one of these editors you have two options you can either click inside and start editing 
and once you finish with editing uh, you can just press enter key and the edit takes place here uh, now any of these edits you do on the grid uh, will stay local until you actually click on the uh, uh, save changes so let's um, one of the features of this grid is that you can actually edit multiple uh, records at the same time press enter also you can uh, you can use navigation keys the arrow keys to move around the grid so you don't need the mouse basically you can uh, come here uh, suppose you want to edit this part just again press enter uh, do your edit and press enter again you all can also use the tab as well for moving around the grid um, for the most part, um, the editors are fairly um, simple to use. One click and the editor shows up. Unless you change this uh, checkbox here, if it's checked, then the editor will dis would display on a double click. Or simply click. press enter um, you also have um, basic uh, uh, context menu here that you can copy the value or open the record in a new window you can also open the record in the same window using uh, this icon uh, the checkboxes obviously are to select the records for deletion. Now one of the things about delete is that you get prompted if there are any changes uh, within that record, any of the fields have changed, you will get a prompt um, saying to you that, uh, that some of the fields within that records have changed. Would you want to proceed or not? So you have a choice. To cancel the delete or not. Um, now a little bit about the uh, undo. Here for instance I can start changing values. The undo by the way is unlimited so you can continuously suppose you made some changes here three or four changes but you um, want to revert back to say a second change or the original value but you do not want to affect the rest so here you select the uh, field that you want to use the undo on it and then simply move back through the history till you reach the original value which was nothing uh, also you can use uh, the undo all the changes so basically it would just simply go through the grid and undo uh, all the changes that we have added to the we have made to the um, uh, records um, the paging also is here so you can actually um, again change this value locally um, <clears throat> so this is pretty much a, a quick overview of the uh, of the grid itself and how to activate for instance the uh, different editors So this concludes the uh, this short video um, about the um, setting up and configuring your first uh, DCRM grid uh, editable. Thank you.